So as we collect samples in our field, the goal with soil scan is to be able to measure what impact the season has had on the nitrogen that we've already applied to the crop behind me. So with the collection of a sample like I have in the bucket, we now have the ability to come out to the edge of the field and analyze the sample and understand how much nitrogen is here that's in this field behind me that lead to the answer of how much we need to apply to finish the crop. So whether we're using a model or some tool like soil scan to measure, we need to have the ability to understand what the impact of the season has been, what the impact of rainfall has been on our nitrogen investment. So the process with soil scan involves collecting a sample like I have, and we're gonna go ahead and mix up that sample so we have a homogeneous mix. We wanna take all the cores that we've collected across that row and get that into a cup that's a consistent representation of how much nitrogen is in that row. So we'll go ahead by starting and mixing our sample. So by using a Dixie cup, we're gonna take a uh, scoop like this and collect two scoops of soil. This is a consistent amount of soil that the soil scan has been calibrated to that's gonna give us our reading of how much nitrate is in our sample. We'll place it in our mix station and go ahead and start the process. While we're mixing our sample, we have the soil scan set up to calibrate itself each time. Between each sample, we have the standard solution in our sense station that's allowing the soil scan to reset itself from the previous sample that we've run. So it's recalibrating as we speak, and at the same time, it's mixing our sample to go ahead and create a soil slurry that's gonna allow us to measure how much nitrate is in our sample that came from the field. Now that our mix is complete, we'll go ahead and put our soil sample into the sensor station, and we'll begin the process of learning how much nitrate nitrogen is in this sample to be detected. And while that process runs, we'll go ahead and clean up our mix station so we're ready for the next sample that we might run. So where I pulled these cores was an area that had a noticeable uh, change in the corn and it appeared to be an area that uh, had a deficiency in nitrogen and we're seeing that show up in our results. So currently the soil scan is showing eight parts per million of nitrate in this sample which would be a fairly low amount and one of the powerful aspects of the soil scan tool is the ability to calculate an estimate of how much nitrogen is needed to finish the crop. We know that uh, the value is in split nitrogen and splitting those applications because we can react to this information. We now have the knowledge of what's in that soil and we can come back and add the nitrogen needed to make up for what's been lost. And that's where the knowledge that soil scan gives us really comes to be a powerful thing in our operations. So as SoilScan continues to measure this sample, it's seeking for the correct answer. As it gets more and more information from the soil slurry, it's currently at nine parts per million, 12% complete. And it just is gonna analyze and compare this sample to the calibration. And it's accurate to be able to come in and measure within a PPM or two exactly what the uh, result is of how much nitrate is in this field. So our SoilScan sample has now completed. And we have found that there are nine parts per million of nitrate in our sample. The soil scan has the ability to interpret that data for us into something that means more, which would be pounds of nitrogen. So we took 12 inch cores in this field, which is typically what we would do when we're going out to sample for nitrate. And so I'm able to enter 12 inches as my sample depth, which will convert nine parts per million into the pounds per acre. In this case, we have 33 pounds per acre of nitrate that's been detected in the field. We also have built into the soil scan the ability to calculate an estimate of how much nitrogen is needed to be added to this field with a later application. So we would be coming in with a tool like Y-Drop to come into this crop and apply more nitrogen to finish the season. And soil scan is a tool that helps us come to that estimate of how much needs to be added. So in our case, we're gonna enter a yield goal, 240 bushel, we know from university research that it takes about 1.1 pounds of nitrogen to grow a bushel of corn. That includes building the plant, building the ear, and the kernels themselves. And so that's the total nitrogen that we would need from all the sources that would be in that field, including what we apply, as well as what is mineralized from the soil by Mike and his team. 
And so we take that into account. We're gonna start with our yield goal to get the total number that we need. And then we're gonna use our uh, growth stage estimator, which in this case we have V8 corn, that tells us how much of the season has already passed and how much further need that crop is gonna have for nitrogen between V8 and to finish the crop. And we know that a significant amount of nitrogen is used by the crop after the V10 stage. So a lot of our use is yet to come in this field behind me uh, of the nitrogen that's gonna be used throughout that season. This calculator is taking that into account. In this case, we also need to estimate how much mineralization is still going to occur. We do that based on our organic matter of the soil. So I'm gonna plug in 3% organic matter. Again, university research shows us that about 20 pounds of nitrogen per season is mineralized per percent of organic matter. So at 3%, it would be roughly 60 pounds that we can expect throughout the year. Once I've added that number into our estimate, we see that we're gonna need about 145 pounds of nitrogen to be added from this point forward to finish this crop and hit our yield goal. And the only way we would know that is by coming out and finding that the impact of the rain that we've had so far this spring on this crop has driven nitrate out of the profile deeper beyond the range of where those plants are able to reach. And so more nitrate is gonna be, more nitrogen is gonna be needed to be applied to this crop to finish it out. So in a case like we see here where nitrate has been lost in the soil, one of the techniques we would use is going back into the field and pulling a second foot. So our first sample we just ran is from zero to 12 inches. We'll go back in and core from 12 to 24 and find that nitrate that's been moved further down in the profile. We do wanna take some of that into account. As our plant develops and our root system develops, some of that nitrogen is gonna have an impact on our crop, but we also know that that top foot is where the majority of the feeding is going to occur.